There's no specific formula for how to pursue a career in wildlife photography and field science. Everybody has to find their own way. The most important thing for me is that you need to be completely passionate about your work. It's more of a lifestyle than a job. My name is Tim Lehman. I'm a field biologist and a wildlife photographer. I live in Lexington, Massachusetts near Boston, and I work all over the world, but I especially spend a lot of time going to the tropical rainforest regions of the world, such as the Amazon and especially New Guinea and Indonesia. I grew up in Japan. I went to Japanese public school I can remember that when I was in first and second grade, I had a small pet turtle. And as part of a school exercise, we were to write poems about something. And I wrote a poem in Japanese about my pet turtle. And my poem was, well, it was, it was selected to be published in the uh, local newspaper there. So I guess my first publication was this little poem I wrote about my pet turtle in second grade. I think I really got intrigued with bird photography because birds are challenging. They're not, they're not easy. There's flight, interesting behavior, color. There's lots of aspects to bird photography that are a little different than other kinds of wildlife. I guess I like the, the, the challenge of it, as well as the beauty and just, you know, being out, being outdoors. When I was 12, on one of, the, one of the summers when we were back in the United States, my father took me on, my first real sort of experience in the wilderness, he took me on a canoe trip up in Boundary Waters Canoe Area in Minnesota, where we piled our canoe off into the wilderness and spent a whole week and I don't think we saw anybody for several days. I just found that really exciting, this idea of being out there in the wilderness, catching fish to eat for dinner. And I think that was a real inspirational trip for me. I really developed this, this love of wild places that I keep seeking out to this day. There wasn't a specific moment that I could remember, kind of an epiphany or anything, where I realized, oh yeah, I want to become a wildlife photographer or a field biologist. It was a gradual process of pursuing various things that interested me and finding my way to this current career that I'm pursuing. When I went to college, I was very interested in biology. I began to look for opportunities to get involved in research and field work. I found out about a project in Borneo. Uh, I was fascinated by the rainforest. I'd never been to a rainforest. I was living at this research camp for an entire year, and after many months, I, I really had this desire to, uh, you know, see the sunset or get a little bit more distant view. I mean, the forest is 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 so tall. I got a friend to bring out some ropes and I was able to climb up the rope and, and get up there. And that's kind of what got me started on uh, exploring the rainforest canopy. Since few scientists bother to take that difficult step of climbing up into the treetops, it was really kind of a wide open field of research. That canopy level of the forest is really where most of the action is. Most people who look at pictures in National Geographic magazine, they have no idea how much work goes into every shot. For me, I don't have any qualms about spending one week to get one amazing shot. I'm not going to take one picture. I may take a couple thousand pictures during that week, but my goal is really just to get one publishable image. What I'm doing now, being a wildlife photographer, as well as a scientist, it really kind of requires a combination of skills or mindsets. This combining of my scientific background and my photography interest 
it's a perfect kind of combination to make these expeditions where I'm trying to photograph and record wildlife to tell stories, but I'm also making scientifically valuable collections at the same time. To me, that's the best of both worlds. I really enjoy going to these remote places, and I love the experiences of seeing the wildlife, being there firsthand and seeing a parodia, a bird of paradise, do its incredible ballerina dance right in front of me. But then the really satisfying thing about it is that I'm able to share it with others and have people see these places that they wouldn't get to see. Being able to be the eyes to tell the stories and to share that with people around the world makes it really satisfying.